Hey everybody, hope you're doing all right. If you clicked on this video, that means you need to run a regression using Python. So we're gonna walk through those steps, whether you're learning this on your own, expanding your uh, skill set, or this is a work assignment or a school assignment and you're freaking out, don't worry, we've got you covered. So the assumption is that you have Python installed. We're gonna do this through the Anaconda Navigator that you see up behind me on the screen. Uh, and the Jupyter Notebook. So if you don't have that up and running, uh, check the video uh, linked in the description and we'll get you up to speed. Uh, so now we need some data to play around with. So as in the previous Python video, uh, we're going to use free public uh, data here from the Federal Reserve Economic Database. Uh, and then we'll see what, what we're going to need to run those regressions. So let's get to it. Okay, so we are going to launch a Jupyter Notebook session here, and that's going to open up a new tab on our browser, and it should look something like this. We will go to New Python 3, and this is where we're going to input our code and see the output. Okay, so the uh, commands that we're going to need here are going to be the pandas data reader, that's what's going to allow us to read in the data from the Federal Reserve Economic Database. So again, if you followed along the previous video, you've already seen this step, but we'll go PIP installed pandas underscore data reader. And then we're going to import pandas underscore data reader as PDR, so we'll be able to call it up in that shortened fashion. Um, and then we're going to need a name for the data frame that we're going to use. So let's call this Fed Data 1. Call it whatever you want, but that's how we're going to refer back to our data. And that's going to be equal to PDR dot get underscore data underscore Fred now, in parentheses and in brackets, we're going to put in the codes for multiple variables. So we'll have a Y variable and a few X variables for the purposes of running our OLS regression. So if you're not familiar with the Federal Reserve Economic Database, um, and again, you want to build up a data set of your own to play around with, go onto the, the website here, just Google search FRED data, and say we want the unemployment rate. search unemployment, and there are a whole bunch of ways to measure unemployment. The one on top, the standard unemployment rate, and what you're going to need is this right here, the FRED code for the variable in question. So, and it is case sensitive, so unrate will be one of our variables. So if you want to play along uh, and again, build up your own data set here from this source, that's what you're going to want to do. So we'll have in single quotes here, unemployment rate, and now separated by a comma, we'll have the codes for say two other variables. So let's get the federal funds rate. So Fed funds, if you go look it up, that's the FRED code for the federal funds rate. And playing the role of our dependent Y variable will be industrial production index. So end pro is the code that we'll need. So that has read in uh, five years worth of monthly observations for each of those three variables. Okay, so before we get any farther, let's bring up the descriptive statistics, just do a quick visual inspection, make sure the data looks like we expect it to. So we call up that data frame that we just created. So fed data one dot describe empty parentheses. And what we see here are the 59 most recent monthly observations, so our data count, mean, standard deviation, min, max, etc. So that all looks good. So now we've got the data read in. Now we just need the code to run our regression and interpret the output. So we're going to, there's, as always, multiple ways of doing this. Uh, we'll see how to do this with the uh, Got the default package, the stats models package. 
So we're good. that's already installed. So we don't need to install that. That comes with base Python. But we need to call it up. So we'll go import stats models dot formula dot API. And then again, just as a shortcut as SMF, so stats models formula. And now that's ready to be called up. Okay, so now we are ready to run our regression. So just like we created a name for the data frame, we can create a name for our regression model and regression output as well to make it easier to refer back to. So whatever you want to call it, call it regression one equals, and then the syntax here is within single quotes, we write out essentially the equation in very simple terms here. So you don't need to specify the intercept uh, notation for the parameters, we just refer to the variables. So we start with our dependent variable and for our example here, that's gonna be the industrial production. And then as a function of, a little squiggle in the upper left, the sum of our explanatory variables, so x1 plus x2 plus x3, etc. So for our example, that'll be employment rate and the federal funds rate. Fed funds. So we don't put the individual variables within the single quotes, but the whole equation. And then we go ahead and run that. And now we can call up the results of that function in various forms as OLS, as uh, other regression forms. Uh, in this case, we'll just do it as an ordinary least squares regression using that stats models formula package. So to get the output, we need to come up with a name for that as well. So we'll call this regression one output equals, and now we're going to call up that package SMF and we're going to run it as OLS regression from our regression one formula that we have just specified from our data frame fed data one. And we will say at the end there fit open parentheses. And I think we need that last close parentheses after the name of the data frame. That should do it. And this is going to now create the basic regression output that we'll be able to view. So now to call it up, use the print command. And what do we want to print? Print. We want regression one output as a summary. Empty parentheses and then close paren. And there we have it. So all the regression output you could generally want from a standard table. So our dependent variable, industrial production, R squared, adjusted R squared, F statistic, P value, and then the coefficients down here. So a negative coefficient on the unemployment rate, positive coefficient on the federal funds rate, standard error, T stat, P value, lower and upper bounds of the 95% confidence interval, you've got everything you could possibly want. So if you're running this regression in the context of learning econometrics, right, you're going to want to right, explore this further uh, to be able to understand and interpret and know exactly where all those uh, statistics came from. That's all in other videos. We're not going to get into that. Uh, but if you're coming to this from, say, Stata or R, all this output should be very familiar. So what will come next is running tests on, uh, on this regression output, heteroscedasticity, autocorrelation test, et cetera, and then changing the specification. We'll look at how to include interaction terms, nonlinear transformations, et cetera. But this will get you started. So hopefully that was helpful, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.